The modern conservative is engaged in one of man's oldest exercises in moral philosophy, that is, the search for a superior moral justification for selfishness. It's hard to shake our addiction to crystal ball gazing, but predictions are fickle, fraught with risk, yet we love them. So I'm ready to make my first prediction for 2020 regarding Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison's leadership. I know it's a long time till the next federal election. It has to be held on or before the 3rd of September 2022. Recent polling indicates that the Liberal National Coalition are comfortably ahead, but you should keep in mind that these polls were taken prior to the recent spate of political missteps. Of course, there was the Hawaii trip, where the PM took an unannounced holiday before Christmas 2019. As he was flying to Hawaii, much of Australia was burning amid terrible bushfires. For days, Mr Morrison's office refused to comment on his whereabouts or return. The PM explained his absence by telling a radio host, I don't hold a hose, mate, which didn't go down too well. To be fair to Mr Morrison, his presence in Australia wasn't really going to change anything. However, in politics, perception is everything. By him being intentionally outside of Australia during this critical time, people took it as a sign that he just didn't care. When he finally came to his senses and returned to Australia, he, or his advisers, decided to make an unannounced visit to a bushfire-ravaged town. He was heckled by the locals, treated as an outcast, and effectively run out of town. But a couple of days later, another misstep. Mr Morrison authorised the release of a 50-second Liberal Party video on social media advertising his government's response to the current bushfire crisis. The release was universally panned. Former ABC broadcaster Barry Cassidy tweeted, That is absolutely obscene. They are advertising their response to the fires, promoting themselves, at the height of the crisis. Their reputation is paramount, apparently. Advertising expert Todd Sampson tweeted, Advertising. There is something not right about running political advertising during a devastating national crisis. It's like being sold to at a funeral. PR Crisis 101. Say less and do more. By the way, the bouncy elevator music is too juxtaposing and really annoying. ScoMo's social media post came with a link to a Liberal Party web page with a prominently displayed donate button at the top, which turns out wasn't for donations to bushfire relief, but to the Liberal Party of Australia. Luckily, they came to their senses and removed that quick smart. Even former Prime Minister Kevin Rudd entered the fray, commenting on Mr Morrison's ability to lead. He tweeted, For God's sake, on a day we have catastrophic fire conditions, in the midst of a genuine national crisis, Morrison, the marketing guy, does what? He releases a Liberal Party ad. He is no longer fit to hold the high office of Prime Minister. Strong words. So anyway, on to my prediction. I predict that before the federal election in 2022, Scott Morrison's leadership will become untenable, and if the Liberal Party of Australia want any chance of winning, they will have no other option but to have yet another leadership spill. Leadership changes have become a common occurrence over the last decade in Australia, and I don't think the 2020s are going to be any different. Scott Morrison has lost too much reputation. This is not to say that the Coalition can't win, it's just that I don't think they can win with ScoMo as leader. Thanks for watching.